Like Jesus meets the deepest needs in our lives. Without question, part of the point of this story is to show us that Jesus is sufficient to meet our deepest needs. This is the only miracle story we see recorded in both Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. And the point is particularly clear when John tells a story in John chapter 6, and Jesus uses this miracle to show the crowds that it's not just about being fed for a meal, that he is the bread of life. John records how Jesus said to them, I am the bread of life. Whoever comes to me shall not hunger. Whoever believes in me shall never thirst. What a statement. Jesus doesn't just give us bread. He is the bread. Jesus doesn't just give us what we need. He actually is what we need. Come to him and you won't be hungry. Come believe in him and you won't be thirsty. And this story is rich with Old Testament imagery and history all the way back to Exodus 15 when God had promised and provided bread from heaven for his people day after day after day, manna. And Jesus is saying, I am the bread from heaven. He says in John 6, 32, it was not Moses who gave you the bread from heaven, but my father who gives you the true bread from heaven. For the bread of God is he who comes down from heaven and gives life to the world. In other words, Jesus is in this miracle saying, God hasn't just sent bread to his people. God has given himself to his people. And this miracle is even looking forward to the feast that Jesus will one day provide for all who trusted in him from every nation and tribe and tongue who will gather at his table. The whole point is Jesus alone is able to meet the deepest needs in our lives. So to every soul that longs to be satisfied, to every person who has tried to fill your stomach with the things of this world, only to find yourselves hungry again, taste and see that the Lord is good that Jesus is good and he alone is able to meet the deepest needs in your life. And then, so watch this, because this is where things go to a whole other level. Jesus not only meets the deepest needs in our lives, this story is showing that Jesus meets others' needs through our lives. So watch this and think about it with me. This is so important. If the point of this story was just to show Jesus' power to meet people's needs, including our needs, then he could have called down bread from heaven right there on the spot. Just falls into people's laps. And the people would have seen, and arguably they would have recognized even more so who he is. But instead, he prays, he asks for the Father's blessing, and then what does he do? He calls his disciples to his side and he gives them the bread notice Jesus doesn't give out one piece of bread in this story instead he gives the bread to the disciples and they distribute it they set it before the people now we're not told exactly how this miracle took place our imagination is free to wander about how these loaves suddenly begin to multiply from the their hands into other, others' hands, like what a scene. But that's the picture, the hands of Jesus serving the hands of his disciples and the hands of his disciples serving 5,000 plus people. The miracle didn't bypass them. The miracle actually involved them. What a powerful picture of how Jesus is not only sufficient to meet needs in us, but he is gracious to meet others' needs through us. Disciples of Jesus are an extension of the grace and power of Jesus in the lives of multitudes of people. Wow. You just pause and think about that right where you're sitting right now. Are you surrounded by needs in people's lives where you live? You work, you go to school. In this world, together we're surrounded by so many needs in the city. Five million plus people without Jesus in the world. Surrounded by three billion plus people who have hardly heard about Jesus. We are surrounded by need. So in the face of such need, do not think for a second, what can I do about it? I have so little. 
Don't even begin to think that way. We are standing at Niagara Falls. There's plenty of water. Jesus stands ready to meet the deepest needs, not just of our souls. Jesus stands ready to meet the deepest needs in others' lives through our hands, through our feet, through our lives, through our work, through us to use your life and my life and us together to meet others' needs. So brothers and sisters all across this gathering, hear this loud and clear. God wants to do supernatural, life-changing, eternity-shaping miracles in people's lives, and the miracle involves you. 